Geonosis is less than a parsec away. We come out of hyperspace just above Geonosis, but this time we don't fly close to the planet's surface, so we don't swoop over the arena and get swiped at by those poor man's Harryhausen creatures or crash through the droid factory that George pranked Natalie Portman with. Now you blunder. Under. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is just a mean joke. This is not part of look the movie good. at all. Instead, Boba Fett attacks us with D. Bradley Baker doing the retcon version of his voice. You can run, but you can't hide. Not from me. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Redcon Fetcon chases us through an asteroid field, evoking one sequence from the films that was kinda near Geonosis and one that was nowhere near Geonosis, and making us nostalgic for the original Star Tours. Then Vader chases us inside the Death Star, making us nostalgic for the original Star Tours. It's a great sequence that feels like a space chase in a way most of the other sequences don't. No hijinks on a planet's surface, just a tour to a war of the stars but this time more up close and personal than the original time, and this time the bad guys are actively after us instead of just being indifferent to whether we live or die. We make it out of the Death Star okay, but Boba Fett lobs one of those sonic bombs at us, you know, one of the ones that he and his dad fired at Obi-Wan years before, but R2 gets it out of our way. And just like in the movie, anytime one of those bombs goes off, I can only think of one thing. <laughs> The Boba's got a bomb, Boba's got a bomb. We make our escape, make it to the proper coordinates this time, and the Rebellion welcomes us. You are all heroes of the Rebellion. Damn straight we are. Time to update my resume.